Sanatana Goswami and his Brihad Bhagavatam Amrita. He explains how one day Krishna with the gopas and the cows were returning from the forests of Vrindavan to his home. On the way, a soul that had just attained spiritual perfection appeared in the cowherd pasture as a beautiful little cowherd boy. When Krishna saw him, he ran to him and embraced him. And in the ecstasy of love, both Krishna and the new coming cowherd boy, they both fainted in ecstasy. All the gopas, they were very much astonished. Who is this boy? And why is Krishna laying on the ground in an unconscious state? So Balaram approached Krishna and brought him back to consciousness by singing sweet words and fanning him. And then Krishna spoke to this new cowherd boy. He said, you left me long, long ago. You forgot me, but I never forgot you. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, you tried to enjoy the material world. But I was always in your heart, waiting for you to turn to me. You suffered storms, you suffered diseases, you suffered broken hearts. Sometimes you enjoyed wealth, prosperity, high education. But eventually it was all taken away. Didn't you feel separation from me as I felt separation for you at every minute? And then finally you turned to me and you gave your life to me. And I saw how difficult it was in this material world for you to turn to me and be faithful. You were ridiculed, you were persecuted, you were criticized. Sometimes you had to beg, but I was always with you, there to protect you. And now, finally, you have returned home. I welcome you. Then Krishna brought that cowherd boy to his own house and shared prasad with him. The perfection of his love is he feels pain of separation to see any one of his children suffering in forgetfulness of him. However small and insignificant we may think we are, Krishna is feeling separation from us. But he will not interfere with our free will because love cannot be dictated. Love cannot be forced. Love has to be an expression of our free will to actually satisfy us. So for you and for me and for every living entity in this world, yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata. Krishna comes in various incarnations. He sends his messengers just to remind us of what we have forgotten. What selfless love, the origin of all love, Krishna is. We forget him, but he never forgets us. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.